Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a Sunday, so it's going to be another Sunday Sulphur Juice Review. This Sunday I've got three new flavours from a company called Eco Vapes here in the UK. They have a range called Steampunks. I did buy these three myself personally. The three I bought was going to be the Steampunks Aviator, Steampunks Baroness, and Steampunks Black Leg. Now two of these are going to be tobaccos, one's going to be fruity, which will be Baroness. So I'll do a tobacco, then a fruit, then a tobacco. They're all going to be 7030 VGPG. I'm not putting any nick shots in this one, so I've added my own nicotine to make them 6 milligrams. So I'm going to be mouth in them. The first one I'm going to try today will be the Steampunks Aviator. Now Aviator is described as a zesty orange and sweet tobacco. Got it here in my Cree RTA on top of the converter box mod, which I've just reviewed. It's a Matalon coil, it's a 1.2 ohm coil, firing at 14 watts. So, yeah, let's try Aviator from Steampunks. I've been trying these for a few days, obviously. Now the Aviator, it is very much a orange vape. You can taste that orange straight away on inhale. A real zesty, tart orange flavor for me. It's quite a nice orange, but then you get into the tobacco straight away with it as well. That tobacco, it is gonna be a slightly sweet tobacco like they say. It may be a Virginia sort of flavour, but the orange, like I said, is going to be more dominant. A real zesty, tangy orange flavour. And then the tobacco. My one issue with this vape will be... With a lot of e-liquids, I like to vape it and get one flavour first, then the next flavour afterwards, and then blend them in together, like a layered sort of e-liquid. These ones are very... Two dimensional in a way. It's just going to be an orange and a tobacco, but it's not like an orange first and then a slight tobacco afterwards. It's an orange tobacco in one go on the inhale and the exhale. There's no layering with this one. It's not like I said, it's not going to be like a tobacco with a hint of orange on the exhale or a orange with a hint of tobacco on the exhale. It's just like orange tobacco all in one go. It's a nice orange, and it's a nice tobacco, but I think it's not quite working well for me. If that had been like an orange cream, a slight creamy note leading to a tobacco would have been better. It's like two different varieties. You've got a real tart orange, and then a sweet tobacco mixed together. It is a nice one, but like I said, if that had been an orange cream or like an orange sorbet, give it a slightly creamy flavour leading to the... To the um, tobacco. It would have been better in my opinion. It's by no means a bad vape. It's just like I said, I'm not getting like one flavour first and then something else after and then the aftertaste mixing together. It's going to be literally an orange tobacco in one go straight away. But yeah, a real tart, tangy sort of orange and a slight sweet tobacco. So yeah, that was going to be the Aviator. Uh, my juice reviews now, I'm going to do a slight different way of doing it. I will say with each juice, whether I will finish the bottle and whether I will buy another one later on. So Aviator, I will finish this bottle. Would I purchase it again? Not really. It's not really anything different or anything new. But it's a nice tobacco and orange vape, if you like that sort of thing. I like tobacco vapes, but this one, I will finish this bottle, but I won't buy another one. So yeah, let's try the next one. Okay, the second flavour, like I said, will be a fruity one. It's going to be the Baroness. The Baroness, I'm going to read it on the description. It does say it's going to be a sweet black currant accompanied with an iced aniseed. This one's in my Chalice MTL RTA on top of the E-Leaf iStick Power 2, not the 2C. Again, it's going to be a mouth to lung coil. I'm going to fire this one at 13 watts. 
Let's give Baroness a quick taste. Now straight away with Baroness, it's a real nice blackcurrant sweetie flavour. It's like one of those um, cough sort of sweets with a slight aniseed hint to it. But yeah, a real nice sweet blackcurrant. Mixing with that afterwards will be the aniseed flavour. They say iced aniseed. It is slightly cold, but not really too cold. It's like a slight coldness at the back of my throat, but nothing major. But that blackcurrant is a real nice blackcurrant flavour, a real sweety flavour, like I said. It tastes like a, a, like a, a candy drop or a cough sweet. But then you are getting that aniseed mixing with that in the background afterwards. And then on the exhale, just a combination of both, a nice blackcurrant and aniseed with a slight coldness. This one actually, I do like this one. There's no other fruit in there. It's just gonna be the blackcurrant and the aniseed and the coolada. There's not really a hint of menthol, just a coldness. So I do believe it's just gonna be a coolada flavor. Yeah, that one I do like. Really nice sort of sweetie flavor, I must say. Really nice aniseed with a slight coldness. It does say iced. It's not gonna be iced, iced, really cold. It's just a slight cold sensation. So yeah, that one's going to be the Baroness. Now this one, will I finish this bottle? Yes, I will. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I probably would in the future buy one of these. It's a nice sweet sort of flavour and a nice anise flavour. Quite pleasant. If that's in your flavour profile, sort of fruity, anise, mentally cold sort of vapes, then yeah, you'll like Baroness. Let's try the third one. Okay, the last one in this range will be the Black Leg. Black Leg, again, will be a tobacco. On the website, it says a classic tobacco with a smooth, cold spearmint. This one's in my YDDZ T1 MTL RTA. It's 1.2 on coil. I'm gonna fire this one at 15 watts. Let's try Black Leg. Now with this one, I've had a few tobacco baits before in the past with a spearmint. It is going to be a nice spearmint flavour straight away on the inhale. Mixing with that will be a tobacco flavour. They're saying a classic tobacco. I couldn't tell you what this one is. It's got a slight woody, nutty flavour. But I can't really define what sort of tobacco leaf this is going to be. So that spearmint is quite strong, I must say. Yeah, that spearmint, it is a bit overpowering for the um, tobacco. The tobacco is there, but it comes afterwards. This one is a bit more layered than the aviator. I'm getting one flavor first, then another flavor afterwards. And then the XL, a real spearmint tobacco flavor. That tobacco is not a smoky tobacco. It's a real nutty, woody sort of tobacco. But yeah, like I said, the spearmint is really strong there. It's not too cold. There's a slight coldness to it, but it's not really a cold vape. That one, I think, with a bit less spearmint and a bit more tobacco would be more up my, my alley. But like I said, really, this is going to be a spearmint flavour with a hint of tobacco afterwards. It is quite nice. If you like spearmint tobacco, I'm not keen on spearmint tobaccos, even menthol tobacco vapes, I'm not too keen on. I will vape them now and again for a change, but it's not one I will vape all day long. So yeah, that was gonna be the black leg. Now the black leg, will I finish this one? 
I will finish this one. It will take me a bit of time because it's going to be one I will just make now and again. Not a lot. Would I go out and buy another bottle later on? Not really. Not this one. So yeah, those three. The one I will vape all the bottle and buy again will be the Baroness. That's a real nice blackcurrant, sweety aniseed flavour and a nice coldness to it, but not too cold. The other two, it's a bit strange because if you know my channel, you know I'm really big on my tobacco vapes. Normally naturally extracted tobaccos, but the Aviator and the black leg. The Aviator is really nice, but it's not going to be a real layered vape. It's not like a hint of this and then a hint of that. It's just going to be an orange tobacco. And I think the orange should have been an orange cream. The cream would have blended more better with a tobacco because you've got two ends of the scale. You've got a tangy orange and then a sweet tobacco blended together. It doesn't quite work for me, that one. And this one, a black leg. It is nice, but it's a bit too powerful with a spearmint. This has been less spearmint and more tobacco. And maybe, but yeah, I will finish this bowl, but I would not buy another one. So yeah, that's my thoughts on these three from the Steampunks range from Eco Vapes. Guys and girls, hope you liked the video. If you did, why not give it a thumbs up? If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to me, you know what to do. Hit the button down below. And yeah, I will see you all during the week.